how to take and uh, use um, shapes in uh, PowerPoint and that. So anyway, I'm going to go into PowerPoint. I'm going to do a blank presentation. And I really don't have any need for uh, these text boxes, so I'm going to just get rid of them. You can keep them if you want to use them for something else. Uh, but uh, I, at this point, don't need them. So what we've got is an empty PowerPoint slide. And we want to go to Insert Shapes. And I can choose any shape here that I want. It doesn't really matter um, what they are. I'm going to just take and use, uh, let me see, I'll do an oval. And I'm going to draw it on the screen. Then I'm going to go to Control, Copy, and Paste. And we'll, we've got 10 of them here. I might need more, but this will be a start in the right direction. So I'm going to line them up in any way I would like. They, you know, you could take and you know make straight lines, or you could take and um, do something else with them. It's a matter of your creativity. And that. So we've got this one. We can put up here. And I'm going to move some of these over so I can use the spaces here. And what I'm getting is a little red line that's showing me that they're lined up in each direction. And that... And it's a little time consuming, but not outrageous. And I'm going to put these two down here at the bottom. I'm going to do something just a little artsy with them. Okay, next step in the whole process is to sweep all of them. Right mouse click on, oops, that's not the right right mouse click. Uh, and we want to go to group. And so we want to group them so that they're one big bunch. And I can see I have some of these a little out of the line. I can still go in there and uh, shift them down a little bit. So I'm just using my arrow key to move that one down. And I'm going to move uh, this one to the left and that. Okay, and you can work on that for a long time, getting them exactly lined up into their lines, respective lines. But this gives you an idea as to what's what. So it is one group if I click over here. Okay, if I right mouse click on it, I should get a format shape. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to hit fill. And then I'm going to go to picture. But Okay, I can leave that pattern in there, that uh, pattern of wood, but I can insert a picture source. And it's asking me from a file, which might be something on your desktop, stock images which come with PowerPoint, some online pictures, and also some icons. But I'm going to just take and use a stock image. Uh, when you purchase PowerPoint, you have these images available to you. And I'm going to ask it for some waves. And you can see it has all kinds of different waves that you could uh, accommodate this with and that. So I'm going to choose that one. And I'm going to say Insert. And that gives you that effect. Now, over here in the spot, you have a spot for other things like a text uh, box and such. I'm going to go ahead and put a, a text box in there. And I could have kept the old ones that were there, but it just made it easier for me to do this. And this is going to be, uh, uh, let's say, Waves for PowerPoint. Now, the thing to this to remember is this can be anything. This could be a, picture, a, a person's face. This could be a building. This could be the sky. Uh, it could be flowers and that. But uh, I'm going to increase the size of this so that it's more like a um, heading for the beginning of a PowerPoint. And I'm going to stretch this out so that it looks nice and neat. 
And there you go. This is the start of a PowerPoint presentation. You can uh, take and add your next slide and that. And you could use this maybe for a breaker in between each topic of your presentation. So anyway, that's how you take and create an uh, image that's behind uh, some shapes. I'm going to go ahead and click out of this. I'm not going to save it. And there you go. And this should end my uh, uh, screen capture recording. All right. Thank you. Bye now.